Well, let's stay with that particular story as Lagos-based legal practitioners have emphasized on the importance of financial autonomy for the judiciary. Now, according to the lawyers, financial independence is the only way to ensure a healthy democracy in Nigeria. Now, Galaxy's Valerie Choma tells us more in this report. It's been over 13 days since the Judicial Staff Union of Nigeria embarked on an industrial action to press home their demand for complete control of their finances. It is on this premise that legal practitioners Libros Oshama and Adeton Dairo has said that according to the 1999 constitution, the judiciary ought to be financially independent. Yes, there is indeed a constitutional provision that empowers judicial autonomy for the judiciary. And so, um, the judicial workers are not just on a voyage uh, to nowhere. They are actually you know, on a voyage to enforcing a constitutional provision which had been breached consistently by the state governors. There's an order from the court that the Jusun, which is the um, um, judicial staff, should have their own financial autonomy. The order has been gotten from the court, but up till now we don't know what is happening. It's so it's obvious that the executive does not want to obey the, uh, uh, the obey the court order. On this note, the past president of Nigerian Bar Association, Ikeja Lagos Branch, Adeshino Ogunlano, added that the money for the judiciary should be paid directly to them and not through any other party, so as to ensure complete. An absolute democracy. Not the federal government, not the state government. It's from federation account. It's paid into the accounts. Yes, accountant general. It's paid straight into the judiciary accounts. Each of them have their account. Not that it will be, uh, it will be disbursed to the executive for the executive to use his own discretion whether to give or not to give. That is not constitutional. Meanwhile, Oshama stressed that the state governments should look for ways to generate funds for their states as that is the only way to keep the economy running. While Amobi noted that judicial autonomy is necessary as it entrenches the principle of separation of power. There is no need going to Abuja to share money. Rather, let the state government generate funds for themselves and in turn, pay taxes to the center. That would have, one would have expected that governors would think outside the boxes and find the alternative ways of generating revenues for, for their states. But no, that's not the issue because we always go to Abuja to share money. The last amendment to the constitution has granted financial autonomy to the judiciary. That from the moment of disbursement from the federation account to the judiciary directly and not to be handled by state executives as we have in Lagos State. So it has gone beyond the uh, uh, welfare packages or giving uh, vehicles annually to judges. We are talking about controlling the finances of the judiciary. And that will make way to entrench the principle of separation of powers. Speaking on the negative effects of the strike, Adeshino and Akim lamented that the prolonged strike has stalled court cases and affected the general public. However, they noted that the government has to meet the demands of Jusun as that is the only way that the judiciary workers can get back to work. As we speak now, crimes are being committed. And when crimes are committed and offenders are apprehended, they are taken into custody. The constitution requires that they are brought before the court uh, between the 4 and 48 hours of the arrest. Which court are you going to take, going to take them now? All the cases, civil cases, criminal cases, cases on appeal, new cases, even people in police custody, you can't charge them to court because courts have been grand, granted, not because the workers uh, don't want to work, but the workers decide not to continue working in a situation where the executive, the judiciary, is subjugated to the whims and caprices of the executive. Valerie Chioma.
Galaxy TV News, Lagos.